the number of deaths that are being reported around the world is really shocking this late into a pandemic. When we have the tools at hand that can prevent infections, that can prevent those who are infected from spreading to others, and can prevent people from dying. The biggest ways in which we know can limit the spread is around our physical distancing. What we advise in every situation is taking a risk-based approach because the situation globally is very different. The intensity of transmission is very different. At an individual level, we're asking everyone to know what your risk is through that activity and take measures to lower your risk. Practice your physical distancing, wearing a mask, avoid crowded spaces, make sure you have good ventilation if you're indoors. It's as simple as opening the windows if it's safe to do so. Practice respiratory etiquette. Get a vaccine when it's your turn. Avoid mass gatherings. We support countries in using this risk-based approach to take the decision about if an event can happen. This is for the Olympics, as well as for having a barbecue in your home. It depends on where you live. It depends on how much virus is circulating. It depends on if there are appropriate measures that could be put in place to have a plan for case detection, for early recognition, for caring of those individuals, for contact tracing, a good communication plan. It also matters about the vaccine allocation and vaccine rollout. Take measures to keep yourself safe, to minimize exposure to this virus and the virus variants, and make sure that you don't allow the virus to spread.